If you haven't done it yet, install the promotional version of Cityscape from the 3DS Max 2011 installation disk. The Cityscape installer is found in the Support Partners folder. This application is great to create terrains and roads, from simple city blocks to wild countrysides. Here, you will use it to create a mountain road not unlike the Stelvio Pass in the Alps between Italy and Switzerland. The Stelvio Pass has 60 hairpins. You will create only half a dozen at best. Start the application. A dialog appears showing the differences between the promotional and the commercial versions. Do not be fooled by the number of red X's. You can achieve quite a bit with the promotional version. Dismiss the dialog. Another dialog prompting you to register the product appears. Click the Not Now button to dismiss it. Start a new project by creating a new terrain. Accept the defaults to create a 1 km by 1 km terrain. At this time, the terrain is flat. First, a few words about navigation controls. They are all done with the help of the ALT key. You can orbit using ALT plus left mouse button. You can zoom in and out using ALT plus right mouse button. And you can pan using ALT plus middle mouse button or ALT plus mouse wheel. The creation process of any element is done with a right click. To sculpt the terrain, you have many options. A geography circle creates something of a mound as you select the tool and right click over the terrain. As you stack one circle on top of another, the effect is additive. It's all procedural and you can adjust the parameters on the widget panel on the right of the screen. You can also select a circle and relocate it with a simple click and drag. Multiple selections can be done with a region selection or by holding the shift key. A geography polygon is similar to circle, but you are not restricted to a circular shape. Remember to use right clicks to define the control points of a polygon. At any time you can relocate points with a simple left click and drag. You can also use the Paint tool to raise or lower parts of the terrain. Finally, you can use Height Maps to sculpt the terrain. This is done by first inserting a geography grid, adjusting its size, in this case about as big as the flat terrain itself, and then by loading a height map. A height map is a grayscale image with gradients or noise patterns. For this exercise, use the sample height map.jpg file that ships with the product. You'll find it in the public documents shared by all users on the computer system where you installed it. Based on the height map, the large amount of detail can translate into a huge number of polygons in 3ds Max. For this exercise, change the resolution to about 50. This will remove a lot of the detail but will make viewport response easier. Adjust the grid to the corner to remove any terrain walls. Also adjust the height scale to about 250%. This will create a steep mountain and will make driving up the slopes quite entertaining. If you need to, make further adjustments to the geography circles until you get a terrain you like. Let's add some water to the mix. Choose the global water tool and activate it. Change the height to about 20 meters. If you wish, go back to the terrain tools and make additional adjustments. If you need to, remove a geography circle. Simply select it and press the delete key.
try the paint tool in lower mode to bring the water inside the land. Save your project. In part 2 of this series, you learn to create roads.